In this video, I'm going to show you the bestest, fastest and cheapest way to build a website. To get started, all we need is Telegram. Press start. Then we get this message. I'm your AI website builder assistant. I'll help you build a beautiful website in just a few questions. So we just respond with the website name, hero message, a brief overview of the site, theme, whether we want it light or dark, contact email, CTA link and our language. And that's all we need to do. I'll just reply with the requested information and hit send. Okay, we just got notified that it's been generated about four minutes. Alrighty, so here's the website that it's come back with. We can take a look at it by just clicking the link. Here is the landing page. We can have a look through it. So features, about, testimonials, services, FAQ, and contact. This looks pretty good, but I would actually like to have it in dark theme and I would like to increase the size of this hero section a bit and just style it a bit more. So we can do that. You'll see in Telegram it's saying, do you want to approve it or do you want to request changes? So we'll, we'll request changes. Now when you request changes, a form opens up in the browser and you can put in the changes you'd like and submit it. The website's nearly perfect, however, I need some minor changes. Can you change the theme to dark mode, increase the size of the hero section to full page, and also create a cool logo, not just a letter. Okay, we'll submit that. Now we just wait a few minutes and we can take a look at Rev2. Okay, you can see here we've just had a response back that the updates have been done and we can take a look at them. So again, click the link and we can view the site. Rev2, I asked for three specific things. I wanted a logo, I wanted the hero section to be full size, and I also wanted to go to dark mode. So you can see we now have a logo, hero section obviously full size, and we are now in dark mode. And importantly, it didn't change anything else. If you look at say, projects completed, average rating and support available, these numbers, and we click back to the original, you'll see it's the same. So we can iterate and revise knowing it does exactly what we ask. Now, just before I show you how you can do this yourself, I want to make one more change to style up this hero section just a bit more. So when you click respond, it'll open up another tab, which I've already done, it's here. I'm just going to ask for one more change. So I've asked it to change the hero section background to a gradient overlay on an unsplash web design image and use a dark gradient. So we will submit that. Now in a couple of minutes, we'll get this final revision and I will then show you how you can steal this entire idea and do it yourself. Okay, so we just got the next response back. So this revision hopefully will be done. So we can take a look at it, same as the others, just click on it. And this is our next revision. So you can see the evolution that we've gone through. We've got our original based on just one message on Telegram. We've done some revisions and this is the final product. So you could play around with it, a bit of back and forth to get it just right. And as you can see here now, I've pushed this out onto GitHub static pages. So it's actually live on the web. Alrighty, so this entire automation is built using N8N. And there are two ways you can get your hands on it if you want to use this tool. The first is basically steal it. So when I mean steal it, I mean steal it. So what we do is take a screenshot of the automation. Once I've got the screenshot, all I need to do is go to Claude, paste it in, and ask Claude to generate the .json file that replicates this automation. Okay, so as you can see, Claude has generated what is a .json file that can be imported into N8N to set up this workflow. So basically you copy this, open it in a text editor and save it as a .json file. And once you have that, you go to the three dots up here and import from file and you will get something very similar to this. It's probably around anywhere between 80 and 95% complete. And once you're up and running, there is a bunch of things that you can do. So you can modify the prompt. So the style, the look and feel of the website or the landing page is always in line with your requirements. The other thing is you can change out the LLM. Now this is using Anthropic, but if you want to go with a cheaper model, you can use DeepSeek and these sites will be only costing you maybe one or two cents a run. All of this is within your control when you're dictating the entire workflow and the prompts that build these sites. 
Now, just to give you a sneak peek of what is actually within the model and what the AI agent is doing, we can just open one up. And if I click on here, which is the user prompt, you can see it is a significant prompt. And within this, this is where you have these controls to modify everything until you get your absolute perfect design and requirements. In addition to that, we have a system prompt. It's fairly straightforward and it gives the overarching criteria for the requests that are coming through. Now, if all that sounds a little bit tricky, you can actually just grab the .json file from my community. If you head over to Online Ninja, and then you go to the classroom, you go to N8N Automations, you will find the .json file in here, Landing Page Builder Setup. All you have to do is import it, add your credentials, and you're in business. Now, that was a pretty quick run through of this automation, but hopefully it shows the power of what you can do with N8N. If you did get some value from the video, consider giving it a like, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions or comments, drop them below. I try to answer every single comment, and I look forward to catching you in the next one.